See, like, there's like this round pin. Yeah, that was just, that was a, that was a nasty one. That's what I was doing yesterday. Oh, God. That'll make you sick right away. Yeah. Now, don't walk in this yet because the floor's soft. Look at this one. This is oh, gonna be, there's a path. <laughs> but I'm, I'm thinking there's good, good stuff in here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Frankie, I'm thinking you're nuts. Do you? What, what do you I mean, want out of here? We're gonna be checking out a new piece of equipment that we could possibly take out to a hoarder's farm job. This is actually my first time ever driving anything even remotely like this. This has got a cab forward design. I've never experienced anything like this. It's gonna be a fun video today, guys. Trust me. I just snapped the door off, turning. And there it lies. God, that's stupid. Huh. Frankie landed himself a project sorting through a hoarder's farm and cleaning it out. And if I know Frankie, he'd stay there for a month just manually sifting through everything piece by piece. Today, guys, we're gonna go check out this project and we're gonna check out a piece of equipment that I wanna bring up to his job site to hopefully speed up his project. Problem is, I've never ran one of these before. Now, I did buy this and I did ask if I could be there when it first showed up and this is how they come, on a bolted to a crate. So this is a cast, compact, or mini loader, and it runs off a 25 horsepower Kubota diesel, has a hydrostatic transmission, a top end of 15 miles per hour, a telescoping boom, and the most important thing that we're gonna be testing today, lets you run over turf without tearing it up, which means I can do bigger mulch jobs with no more wheelbarrows, but we're gonna be testing that in some of the worst conditions today. But before we can do that, we gotta put the wheels on it. You ready? Take it out of You guys, I'm just gonna warn you, he misses a spot greasing and you're gonna hear it later on in this video and I didn't have a grease gun handy to fix it. There you've been warned. This machine actually has two counterweight kits. One is bolted to the bottom of the frame and then there's this add-on counterweight kit which comes out to be about 440 more pounds. Both are attached to the machine, so they're not designed to come off. Wait, wait, wait. 
But for this little machine to make a dent on that hoarder's farm that we're gonna check out in a little bit, I'm gonna need a couple things. A really big bucket and possibly a grapple. the guys asked me if I wanted to try out this thing. It's called a worky quad and I have a problem. When somebody offers me to try out a free piece of equipment, I can't say no. All right. This is going to be the perfect test. It's raining out and once it's done raining, that ground's going to be soft. We're going to try to get that pile of rocks down there cleaned up and moved around to the side of the house. So we'll see how much turf it tears up while we're doing it. We've got really soft soils. So here we go, this is a great example. We have a thin layer of turf with roots and underneath it, it's pure sand. So once you break through, you have zero traction. This is gonna be the ultimate test to see how well that machine can do in a yard without tearing it up. So about five years ago, I had 10 yards of P-Rock delivered and my plan was to use it to rebuild my beach. Well, I started to put it in the beach and realized walking on P-Rock really hurts. So there this big pile of P-Rock sat in the middle of my yard. Now that area down there is just above the water table. So that makes it hyper saturated and difficult to work in. And if I ever tried to get a skid loader down there, even a tracked one, they would just tear everything up. And so this pile of P-Rock has sat in my yard bugging me for five years. And I thought this is going to be the ultimate test. But once I get the P-Rock out, I still got to put something back in place to get the grass to grow again. Summer snow When it falls on you Your blood runs cold But don't you sweat Your pretty skin Cause it melts away For it sinks in Alright, so we got about 10 yards of rock mulch to use But we're actually using a snow bucket Or a light material bucket So I'm only going to be able to fill it halfway up But let's get started Up to this point, those turf tires have absolutely amazed me, but they do have their limits to their traction. But that's where the other capabilities of the machine come in handy. It's a broken bridge and a fading light. Never thought ahead of my two feet. Never had a care in the world you see. guys I want to show you how soft the ground actually is where we're at you can actually see the water on the tires but look at watch this I can stick my nose pickers right in there that's mud that's what we're driving over no damage this is 
incredible so far. rocks I lose traction which means I've got to lock my diffs out. Now I'm on rocks so I know I'm going to be stuck. I'm going to lock my diffs and back out. Locking the diffs locks all of the wheels together so it's recommended you don't turn until you unlock the diffs but it's just a switch you can flip instantly on or off right there in the cab. All right, guys, here's where I screw up. I wanted to show you guys the machine operating, but kind of from an outside perspective. So I mounted the camera on the door, but I had to hold the door open to do it. And then all of a sudden, some strange guy I'd never seen before comes walking up, and I quick turned okay, the machine and voice. knocked my door I just off. snapped the door off, turning. I had it open so I could get, so I could get the cool shot not even paying attention because as i'm do dumping some strange guy comes walking down and instead of paying attention to what i'm doing i'm looking over my shoulder and i should have caught the door and there it lies let's see if it's broke did we break it i don't see anything snapped on the cab god that's stupid huh. Nope. Nope. Glass is good. Glass is good. I think we got lucky. I think we got lucky. Well, luckily for me, the door and side panels are all designed to pop right off. So when I was tilting the cab, it just lifted the door off and plopped down on the ground. Take the same. Uh, does, this, does this hook up just like tobaccos? Are the skids? Nope. No. It takes mini attachments. That would you know, be nice. You bet. I would like it if we could, but you know, a guy could probably get an attachment for that attachment to use them attachments. I was thinking that. I was. <laughs> I was. That one made up. Yeah, I was thinking. Well, you know, if we got a universal attachment, we could use all of our other stuff. Right. Yeah. But, all right, well, we got a hoarder's farm to go look at. Is that right? Yep. All right, so I've never seen it. We're going to bring Colts along for the ride. And uh, let's go check this out. What do you got on the front of your truck now? I took the winch off because my battery went bad, and I got two brand new batteries, but they won't fit inside the truck because they're too big. Yeah. So I put it out here. This is my battery. Front of your car. That's your battery for what? Good Wait, what? what? Oh, it's <laughs> uh, this is This is awesome. If this is seriously the battery for your truck, this is awesome. It's the battery for your truck. Out here. Yes. Well, <laughs> well, too, it's too big to fit in there. It's too big. I, All paid, right. I paid 100 bucks each bad for each battery, you know. So I'm not gonna. Well, why'd you buy batteries that were too big? These are the ones I bought for that dump truck that time. See, you never, you never know. You never. I'll, I'll clean up and stuff, you know. And this one, yeah, this one ain't too bad. Uh, this used to be all chicken coop. Yeah, yeah, he raised chickens and sold them. 
Now don't walk in this yet because the floor is soft. Look at this one. This is oh, gonna be there's a path. <laughs> but I'm I'm thinking there's good good stuff in here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Frankie, I'm thinking you're nuts. Do you? What what do you I mean, want out of here? Yeah. Hey, hey, don't go too far though. Because the floor is bad. Yeah. I mean but, whatever. But. I mean what do you want surprised. out of What's here? Sometimes the things you get into. So I found out there was building after building like this. And well, you know what? Tomorrow I'm going to release a video exploring the hoarder's farm. So make sure you guys stick here. around because it gets interesting. Oh, wow. And you know what all that bad them bags are? You'll never guess. Insulation. Okay. Chicken plucker. Schweischer chicken plucker. Wow. And it's mine. <laughs> and it's Frankie's. <laughs> yeah. See, there's a cage. Yeah, I see that. And all I just the cages. I mean, dude, I just bought three want. cages. They're being de they're delivered to my house uh, while I'm gone. Believe it or not. You know, you know what's in them bags? Well, Frankie's plan to do this farm cleanup was to do it all by hand and to order a dumpster and to throw everything into different dumpsters. What my plan is, is for him to use the loader to park right by the door and to throw everything right into the bucket of the loader and then to bring that over to the dumpsters just to speed things up. But for us to follow through with that plan, Frankie has to get familiar with the loader. All right, so Frankie's going to get a jump start on the project, but he's never actually ran one of these. You want to hop in and I'll walk you through. So it's really, really simple. You got two pedals on the floor. Yep. One goes forward, one goes in reverse. Fit. Um, you've got two speeds, slow and fast right here. It's fast is only for roading, because it's, yep. it's 15 miles an hour, but there's zero power. It's just meant to get you from point A to B. And then slow is your working speed. Okay. okay. Right? Yep. It does have a parking brake right here. Now here's the thing, if you get stuck, you gotta, this is all wheel drive. You gotta hold, hold it, that button. you gotta hold it and okay. don't turn cause you'll tear everything apart in it, right? right? It does have glow plugs and they'll go off automatically. There. Yep, there you go. Um, now your telescoping boom is this black button and this thumb grip right here. When you wanna telescope out, and when you want to telescope back in, Wait. it's the white button and then the same one. Now pull green. back. When you pull back, your bucket goes up, you pull forward, goes down. Oh, what's it's, the green and yellow? Anything? Uh, green and yellow is pressure release. So if we have oh, a grapple release. on, it'll go, well, oh. the green will make it open. And so, and then when you want to hook up attachments, you, you just turn the switch to on, you don't start the machine and you just go like this and then you release your pressure and you should be able to hook up to attachments if we got to switch attachments. And here's your throttle. With the rock pile disappearing, I've got to replace that material with fresh material that I'm going to harvest from the farm. That means I've got to travel about a mile down the road to pick up cow poop. This gives me the chance to test out that high speed, that 15 miles per hour top end, which I think is going to be pretty squirrely in a machine that small, but we're going to find out. Disconnect the fence, I've just got to cross it. You guys can go somewhere. Else. It's electric, so I don't want to touch it or pee on it, which I did once, and it hurts just like you think it would.
but I had to try it anyway. The material I want to harvest is actually cow manure that I harvested from the pasture the year before and it's been sitting in a pile composting for the last 12 months. Problem is, it's hard and compacted and it needs to be loosened up. Most of the material in it is pretty good, but not all of it has been processed yet. In fact, I'll show you what I mean. I want to make sure that uh, I don't get too much of that. That stuff is just compacted. since I don't have a dump trailer with, I just haul it one scoop at a time down the road, 10 scoops in all. I'm not really looking forward to trying to grade this dirt out using a snow bucket and I'm not really very comfortable or familiar with this machine yet. And then I remember that I've got a secret weapon, but I don't realize that until I struggle trying to grade this black dirt out with the snow bucket first. While I'm bringing load after load in to fill the hole back up to where it was before, my son-in-law Jake grabs a rake and starts putting the rock in place.
The secret weapon is just a fence gate. It's just the gate off from a fence, but what a perfect drag it makes. In fact, the first time I ever realized this, I had gotten the job to dig the new addition at the women's prison, and part of that, I had to grade out the entire area, which was about 10 acres. And I didn't have a skid loader with a grading bar, but I did have a four-wheeler, and I had a section of fence gate. And I put that behind that four-wheeler, and I spent 10 hours just driving around all day long outside the women's prison, back and forth, having a blast grading out the area, and I was getting paid. Bonus. Hey you guys, my wife is giving me the you better quit and go enjoy some time with your family sign, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, hope this video has helped you out. I think I'm familiar enough with this machine now that uh, the job we took a look at for Frankie, we should be able to handle that uh, pretty good. I don't know, we'll find out. I've never, I've never ran a machine like this before, so it's kind of fun learning. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. God bless, go get them, and we'll see you on another one. I'm going to be done. Before I get in trouble. The fence doesn't do too bad of a job, does it? <laughs>